Hi guys, Claire Ward here again. Today I would like to thank everyone from around New Zealand and from all around the world for the unbelievable response of support. It was truly amazing and I'm over the moon that I heard from people from all walks of life, which is why I did my first post. I wanted everyone to know that I was standing up for them and to all my family and friends, you are just amazing. My intention was to go into bat for our country and the people that are suffering and I definitely had a nerve. Jacinda, I know you have a social media team checking what has been posted each day because funny how there has not been one word from the media for my post. And calm down, trolls. My point in saying that was I rest my case that the media has been purchased by Jacinda and her government by virtue of the 50 million plus paid to them. I would have liked to have taken my stance all over the country more, but hey, no one in Labour can handle the truth. So today I feel absolutely heartbroken after reading that our country has got to, schools have been told they can call the police if teachers turn up to school unvaccinated. So Jacinda, are you really going to drag teachers out of their classrooms in front of our kids and arrest them for the high crime of being unvaccinated? If it's so bad for them to be in the classroom, why didn't you drag them out of the classroom six months ago when none of them were vaccinated? What's changed? Your rules yet again. Why were the real criminals not dragged out of their houses for committing real crimes? This is just jack-booted fascism. What is wrong with you? And, and what are you turning this country into? It, it's actually really, really scary. We already have a lack of teachers in this country. Surely there is another way to resolve this. I understand the vaccinated, not vaccinated issue and far out, it's tough. And honestly, I don't know what we can do about it, but come on, this is disturbing. Now to the borders. Did you know that section 18 of the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act says that we have freedom of movement anywhere within New Zealand? What that means is we shouldn't have any internal borders in and around New Zealand. The government is using the short-term health orders and turning existing laws inside out and upside down in order to use them to keep large sections of society locked up behind arbitrary and artificial borders that have never ever existed in New Zealand before. This is just another example of overreach by an out of control government making shit up as they go. Does 89 days qualify for being short and sharp? Oh, and on this whole red light, green light, kindergarten system that you copied from another communist country, which quite frankly, you need a degree in statistics to work out. Next, we will be moving to the names of animals. If you live in West Auckland, you will be the giraffes and you get to leave at 9 a.m. on the 24th of December. At midday, you'll be followed by the Shetland ponies from the North Shore. Then the dash hounds from East Auckland can leave at 5 p.m. South Auckland, you are the Kiwis and you can leave at 9 p.m. Even the rats will be allowed to follow. <laughs> Sorry, trolls. They are still working out what the time the hyenas, elephants and hippos can leave. Finally, I would like to address the trolls. Thank you for providing the best entertainment. The fact that you think writing something so vile and disgusting says more about you than about me. Michelle Cave and Philip Teo telling me I'm a waste of air and to go jump off a bridge. Some of the trolls said I have bad hair and to go back to my hairdressing job. I never ever said I was a hairdresser, but I would go to my bloody hairdressers if I could. But Jacinda said I can't, but we can get Botox only above the nose. Oh, and hang on, I can go to the dentist, but I can't get my hair cut. These poor businesses are still not open. What a travesty. So trolls, people kill themselves over comments from, from trolls like you. Did you know that? They kill themselves, just like people are doing at the moment. Because of the situation Jacinda has put us in. I would love to meet you face to face and see how tough you are then. You obviously haven't been listening properly to Jacinda because she always says, be kind. Give us our freedom now. Step aside and stand down, Jacinda Ardern, so two by two, all the animals can leave to board the ark for freedom from the flood of inhumanity.